So what do you do when you're locked outside of your car that has the keys for your house and whatnot? Well, if you don't have AAA, you're gonna have to, or anything else, you're gonna have to improvise. That's what I've been doing for the last 15 minutes. If you can't get a coat hanger, use a flag marker. I'm gonna show you people how to break into your own car when you have no other means to do so. It's like the old coat hanger trick. So they're not usually known to be found in the grass out in public, but flag markers there usually are. That's what we're gonna go get today. That's what we're gonna use today. It happens just about once or twice in every person's life they get locked out of their own car. Me, it happened in my Oldsmobile, the 77 Delta 88. Mosey on back. Make a loop out of this, so I'll show you how it's done. There, that looks about an appropriate bend. Add your turning inside the car, you loop it around, and you yank up. So, slide that in there. Should be pretty thin. Oh yeah, if you're gonna do this, expect to damage your weather seal just a little bit. There we go, we got entry. Bend it as you go. Get as close as you can to the mark. It's kind of like fishing in a way, you just need patience. Oh, we're almost there. There, now we're latched on. Get a good grip. The hope and a prayer. Whatever else you gotta say for it. Yank the fuck up. And there you have it. That's how you get inside your own car. Took about 10 minutes for the whole ordeal, but it's a lot quicker than AAA. Sweet. And as for the flag marker, toss it aside. You know, if it ever happens again, you don't have to walk far the second time. Because you can't always find coat hangers out in the wild, but you can sure as shit find flag markers. And they'll open doors for you. Little tech tip for you guys. 